I am Tathagata Dei. I am from Kolkata. And the, the most important thing about Baiju's example is that apart from other test series, the, the better help is with the quizzes and all. Definitely Baiju's example was of great help in building my conceptual depth and of course I believe for any, many other students. Hello students, welcome to Baiju's Exam Prep Spotlight. So this is a show where we bring our toppers into the spotlight and we listen to their inspiring journey of gate preparation. So guys, today we have one student who have secured All India Rank 21 in Gate 2022 20, Computer Science Branch. So we have Tathagat De with us. Welcome Tathagat, how are you? I'm fine sir, how are you? I'm good too. So uh, Tathagat, please give us a brief introduction about yourself. Well, I'm Tathagata Dei and I'm pursuing my B.Tech in Computer Science and Engineering from Government College of Engineering and Textile Technology and I'm currently in my uh, final year right now. Okay, so where are you from? I'm from Kolkata. Okay, so Tathagat, uh, how did you start your preparation? I started uh, thinking about gate examination in my first year when I first thought that uh, this subject computer science is quite intriguing and I decided that I want to pursue it in the long run, uh, like I want to pursue M.Tech. So, uh, that's when I decided to uh, go for gate examinations. Okay. okay. Um, so what what uh, motivates you when you started your preparation? What was the motivation factor behind your preparation? Well, uh, I wish I could show you that the study table in front, uh, the study table uh, walls in front of uh, my, my desk and chair. Uh, it contains the pictures from IITB and IIC. Okay. Well, I guess it's a big motivation for every gate aspirant. Definitely, uh, definitely. So, what type, of, what type of challenges you faced during your, your preparation, throughout your preparation? Well, there are quite a lot of challenges because uh, as I uh, think that competitive exam is more like a marathon, not, not like a short journey. So, in a long run, there are uh, more of mental battles that, I, that we all uh, had to fight. Um, like, uh, you know, in the long run, when, when we are preparing for a competitive exam and we see uh, students and, and classmates around us uh, uh, doing many projects and uh, publishing research papers and uh, building machine learning models, but, but we are doing nothing actually. As, as we see that at the end of the day, our progress is not really shown. So it is a it is a great mental uh, battle to fight as I feel because um, you have motivation to do that you are doing well and in the long run it will it will bring you a nice fruit and uh, you have to wait for that day and have to be patient. So uh, it is one of the biggest challenges that I ever faced. And also apart from that, uh, because uh, uh, gate examination is... Uh, Different from JE because you have to uh, uh, continue your college life, your, your, your everything like your placement, assignment, projects, uh, uh, your uh, like uh, presentation, everything. There are small topics and quizzes, everything. And you have to continue all of them. And along with that, you have to prepare for an exact competitive examination that is uh, one of the toughest examination. Uh, so uh, it is it is it is hard I feel. yes yes so you did it really well by balancing both you know your semester exams assignments as well as your gate preparation because many students they they suffer in that right they face difficulties by you know managing both the things but yeah you did a really good job so how did Baiju's exam prep help you in your gate preparation? Well, uh, I heard about Baiju's exam prep from the very first day of my gate journey. Like, well, like when we are uh, prepare, starting to prepare for a competitive exam, we do some background research and all. And we know about uh, Baiju's exam prep and their lectures and materials and notes and everything. And after all, above all, that the J series they provide. That's uh, quite literally as I felt the best in available out there. So uh, me and along with uh, my uh, other friends, we, we all have prepared together uh, the, the materials that are available out there, uh, the notes, uh, the quizzes and the doubt sessions and everything. And uh, as I said, the test series, last three months of the, my gate preparation was uh, quite amazing, uh, opting for the, all the tests out there. And um, uh, along with the tests, the, 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 I remember... Um, and the, the most important thing about Baiju's example is that apart from other test series, uh, uh, the, the better help is with the quizzes and all. I remember like uh, like in weird times when, when I'm doing really nothing like having my food or, or going to bed at night. And uh, I have that bad habit that I can, can't sleep as soon as I get to bed. So I used to solve some, some quizzes and all like 10 questions and 20 questions of different subjects and all. So these are really great help. Okay, okay. So, uh, yeah, I would like to ask a few more things. 
like uh, did you refer any standard textbooks throughout your preparation in uh, some of the subjects like toc algorithm um, discrete mathematics uh, okay. but not really all the subjects um, also i remember in operating system uh, some of the concepts like uh, in the process management and then the theoretical parts like uh, ipc and all okay so, okay and how previous year question helped you well previous all in previous year questions is uh, really important in any competitive exam as well as gate um, because uh, we get to know the type of the questions and the pattern of the examination and f uh, from where the difficult questions and what type of questions are asked and where uh, like we know that msqs are coming these days and msqs really contribute in theoretical question buildings so we know from which sections the theoretical or conceptual questions can be asked really uh, at a difficult level and all so it gives an, an overview and also um, you know, um, prepares among ourselves that how to uh, think about or how to uh, strategize yourself for the examination. So, uh, as uh, from GATE 2021 onwards, uh, IITs have introduced MSQ questions. So, what should be the mindset in attempting the MSQ questions? Because now, uh, due to MSQ questions, the level of GATE exam has increased. Well, I feel that solving MSQs uh, takes a lot of conceptual depth. You have to be conceptually sound enough to be sure about all the options and then you can opt for the question. And uh, for this, I believe Baiju's exam pay was of great help, like the free no free classes and the notes available. And of course, uh, like I remember in my uh, practice sessions when I used to have any doubt in an MSQ, like uh, I couldn't figure out any option. I used to pose the doubt on session and uh, used to solve the, those answers. Uh, I remember so definitely Baiju's exam pay was of great help in de building my conceptual depth. And of course, I believe for any many other students. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we have seen uh, like when uh, one student, uh, they scored low in the uh, maybe the test series, then they then they get demotivated. So how do you cope up with that? Well, uh, it also happened with me, like I but I do not uh, I do not plan in a long run. Like I, I had 48 marks in a full length test in October and but I didn't plan like what will happen in the gate examination after three or four months. I used to plan like I, I will opt for the next test after four days. And I will try to score this two marks from this section, which I missed in this test. So I used to plan in short uh, lens. So in this way, I, I okay. build up. Myself. And how did you manage uh, your last two months of preparation? Because uh, that is the peak time we can say. And you know, most of the students, they, they get nervous also. They think about the result rather than focusing on the process. So what is the mentality? Uh, well, uh, for me, the test series was of best help. Like uh, I used to uh, sit for the test after every two days. And uh, you know, with after each test, like I used to sit for a three hour full length test and then analyze a three hour test. And uh, as we know that in the Baiju, Baiju's exam paper, uh, with each question, uh, we are given with the detailed explanation and solution. So it, 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 it helps me in analyzing my answer, my thoughts and my ideas, how I opted for the question. And in this way, whenever I feel any uh, faults or any gaps in my concepts, I used to revise those notes and then sit for the next one after two days and all. This way, I try. I never thought of the exam or I took any pressure about that. I just used to go with the system and flow. So, how did you manage your last week before the gate exam? Well, in the last week, I uh, stopped sitting for any more mock tests. I just revised those notes and those uh, concepts, those short notes and those little points I wrote down in my copy and all. So I used to revise all of them because I thought that uh, revising those notes in the last few days was more important than uh, sitting for any more tests. Okay. okay. And uh, the most important thing I would like to ask is, uh, many students, uh, they have the knowledge, but they are not able to perform well in those three hours. That is on the D-Day, we can say. So how do you manage uh, what should be the mindset in those three hours so that you can just focus on uh, the exam and you can uh, do well? Well, I believe it becomes uh, a practice, a habit uh, from the test series that taking the pressure or, and, and, and the, uh, the competitiveness of the exam. Like uh, when you are opting the test series uh, in the Baiju's exam, you will see after each result, they really these many, like uh, some of these many thousands of students applied for the test. And, and they are, with each test, you uh, grow up with the competitiveness. So this is important and this helps you in uh, taking up the pressure of the exam hall, I feel. Okay. So, uh, so you have, we have discussed all the important things uh, that, you, uh, that you have shared uh, throughout your preparation journey. And uh, what are the what are the tips or strategies you want you would like to share with the upcoming aspirants? 
well i would like to share that one thing that i thought that uh, this was a mistake on my part that i started for the test series like in late of october which was pretty late as i feel because the test series is not just uh, having the test of how much you study it's about how much also how much you not study so this analysis is really important so start the test series even earlier because uh, in the bijus exam prep there are lots of tests test. and uh, also i had had to little uh, hurry about in the january because i had a few more tests left out there so start the test even earlier like uh, if you are if you have completed the syllabus start in the beginning of september you will have lots of time you will have three or four days gap between each test and you will have you will uh, study those uh, subjects those concepts and revision uh, everything pretty nicely so i feel that this is the most important thing i should advise okay okay thank you thank you for your advice and many congratulations to you tathagat because you have achieved this huge milestone and many students they dream of this so now you are uh you know uh, you have achieved this dream so which iit or iisc you are targeting um i'm still a bit confused but although uh, probably i'll be going to iit bombay okay so many congratulations to you tathagat on achieving this huge milestone and thank you for coming here and sharing your inspiring journey to you know upcoming aspirants and they will definitely get inspired and motivated and they will start their preparation journey as early as possible Thank you, sir. It was a great honor for me to to be able to talk to you, like face to face. So, uh, students, uh, now Tathagat has shared his journey, and I would like to summarize this that uh, we have discussed the important points that one should be consistent enough in 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 his or preparation, right? And one should be stay motivated. So, always think about your goal, whatever you want to achieve. If you are preparing for this competitive exam, you have to stay motivated always, and self belief is the key. Okay. so uh, we have discussed very important points like how to handle test series how to uh, you know solve previous pre previous year questions and also start your preparation as early as possible like tathagat has uh, start had prepared has started his preparation 2 years before so this is very important because the competition is increasing all of you know this and uh, for more such sessions you can uh, watch a uh, spotlights uh, byju's exam prep spotlight and uh, we will be coming up with more sessions thank you guys Thank you.